Mr. Christian was a French truck driver who was married to his wife Maria. Later in life Maria got sick and the medical bills were just too high for them to pay, so they had to sell their house. But Christian, his beloved son, had a solution for them. He had a little tiny house next to his manor that his parents could use. And they lived here for some time. But eventually, Maria got sick again and she passed away. Christian lived in this place until 2015 and he still had a beautiful life. He left some incredible memories behind in this place, which we are going to show you today. Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm joined here with one of my best friends Moreno hey and we guys. are on another exploring trip again. Check him out. He is also his link in the description to his channel. He's Explomo. Thank and you. We are here like I just told you in the incredible time capsule. Everything left behind. Behind us here are all the pictures and the memories of the people that lived here which we are going to show you in a second. We're now going to take you on a tour throughout this place and show you what's left behind. Believe me it's just something Incredible. It's amazing. Keep watching the video and you will find out about everything. Let's go. So we have the big manoir over here from the son and the daughter that I just told you about. And next to it they had this little little tiny yellow house and they gave this to their father. It was a pretty nice thing to do from them in my perspective. We're coming into the hallway of the man that lived here and the first thing that we see is him and his wife together in earlier days, before she got terminally ill. As we can see, these were them. They lived here. This was the father and the mother of the children that helped them out. Got some fake flowers over here. We have the stairway leading up to the few rooms that are left behind upstairs. Let's enter into Christian's, his incredible time capsule. Wow. These are only three rooms, as you can see, one in the bathroom over there. This is the living space, or his kitchen actually. And he has also like a couch over there with like a sleeping place. I'm gonna go, gonna go through this place and show you what's left behind in here. We have discussed this and we have looked around it. The house of the son and the daughter and his house are abandoned. So we are not 100% sure what happened to them. It's actually pretty sad. Let's go through this place and let's see what's left behind. We have all the keys leading through the house of this and the son and the daughter's house hanging here on this wooden plate. A little cabinet down below. What's this? Look at that. The little marine hat. It says Venetia on it. Wow, it's from the lagoons of Venetia. Maybe he also did this beside before he was truck driver or after he was truck driver. He had something to do with Venetia or it's maybe a souvenir item. I always wonder what happened to the dogs that lived here. We have this little bag of dog food left behind. Unfortunately, so sad to see. And then the house itself left behind and forgotten so many memories. The table over here. I think he was a smoker. As you can see, there's an ashtray left behind. And this is one of his grandchildren. There's this last box of dominoes left behind here on the table. Left me to wonder, did he play this last time? Smoke a cigarette, drink something maybe from this mug? We will never know, but we can just wonder what it was. Over here on the wall, we have a taxidermy owl. Wow. He left all the memories. He probably had something to do with shipping, as you can see, or with, with sailing, because he had this anchor, and then the Venice, a cap over there. A TV. Whoa. He had some copper, little pots and decorative pieces over here. A coffee grinder. There's like a sack of croissants left behind. I'm not gonna look inside of it because I think that they might be pretty moldy. Wow. Pots and pans up there. Lots and lots of spider webs. Look at this. 
all those little memories left behind in the house. We collect so many things throughout the years. When we live and when we go to die, nothing gets le not, there's nothing left of it. Before I'm going to show you the bedroom, I first want to go further into the kitchen. Over here, we found out most of the history inside of this place. These are all the papers that Christian left behind. All his tax files, all his bills that he had to pay. There we found out that he was a truck driver. We found bills of his wife, that of, of the hospital. We found bills that he had to sell his house. So it's pretty crazy what you can find with looking throughout the house. Over here you can see there's still Christmas decoration or carnival decoration. No, it's, it's Christmas decoration. You can see like this, this uh, Santa here. And this is from 2015. And as you can see, this was left behind, which probably in December of 2015, this place got abandoned. And what's pretty eerie and creepy is that the clock in this place still ticks. Then we enter into the bedroom. This was such a small place that he had to convert his living room actually into a bedroom as well. So he slept here. And he probably invited some friends over in this room. Because you see this couch, it converts into a bed. Oh my gosh. He was of course very grateful to his, his family, to his son and his daughter. That they let him live here. Let's place this upright again. Look at all the spider webs over here. Wow. These copper little jacks. I love those clocks. It's quartz, you always see them. It's a pretty well-known brand. We got an alarm clock and a normal clock over here. Wow. Let's see what's inside of here. Some DVDs left behind. And then we got his bed. Still from the last time he slept here. I'm just wondering what happened to this man. Oh my gosh. We of course know what happened to his wife, but what happened to him? Did he get terminally sick as well? Did he have to flee this house? We will never know. Over here we have this little cabinet filled with his clothes, all left behind. This place is one of the best time capsules that I've ever seen. Wow. We also have to have a look at this beautiful chandelier in this room made from wood, covered with spider webs. Here's the fantastic piece. Over there, I'm gonna walk a little bit on the bed, but you can see, this was a picture of a dog. This was probably his dog. Wow. There's a long clock. few lamps. See another sailing picture, another sailing painting. And this is a beautiful frame with this clock above it. Copper frame. And then we have this Helly Day post over here. So this man was also a big music fan. You can see the boxes over there. Music boxes. Wow. He also had a record player in this room. As you can see. Then we go further into this living space. All the pictures left behind on here. This just, just gives this place a feeling. He had a way together where she was still alive in 2003. They went to Morocco to Casa Dasi. It's difficult to pronounce. Here you can see his wife in earlier days. Still together with the grandchildren. Another big boat. Wow, and all these taxidermy things on the wall. Taxidermy deer heads. This was our beloved Christian. He lived in this place. This was the man, the memory that we are talking about today. Here he was inside of his truck when he was still able to work and not had to fight for his wife. You love somebody so much that you would give up everything for it. 
I know the feeling. I know what he ha must have felt when times hit and he had to pay these huge bills to, uh, for the hospital. This is probably one of his grandchildren. All these CDs left behind, as I told you before, big music lover. Whoa, guys, I just found something. This is like a stack of pictures that were from this place. This was probably his daughter. And then we have him walking the dog over here. We just found the dog fruit from the dog. This is Mr. Christian, probably in the village that he lived. There's also some text here on the back of this picture. Some French text. Whoa, beautiful to see. Look at this incredible picture of him besides his dog next to this car. So many beautiful memories. He just left this little beast. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm melting from seeing these pictures. Oh, seriously, that picture you just showed is literally outside. Is it outside? Yeah, it's literally oh, yeah. the wall we have right next to us. Oh my gosh, yes. Wow, it's in the garden over here. Mr. Christian. Wow, him in his earliest day, look at him, he's like a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I'm the music man and his track over here probably. Wow, so many memories. Let's go further. Of course, he also must have a bathroom. So uh, I'm gonna check it out right now. As you can see, a pretty small bathroom. I can barely move around here. I'm gonna start off in this yeah, medicine cabinet. All the things left behind, the shavings for shaving and all, yeah. Bandages left behind. Wow, look over here, this calendar. This is pretty recent. 2019, September. We are now March 2020. So it's about a half year ago. Huh? I just, I just found, huh? I just found a calendar uh, on the bills I found from 2015. And now we are, wow. That's a pretty huge turnaround. So this place might have only been abandoned for five years by now. Oh my gosh. But what happened to these people then? Their, their son and their daughter's place is also abandoned, which we are gonna show you in a minute. Pretty interesting, right? And also pretty sad, actually. Wow. So still everything left in here. He has some clothes hanging here on the bathtub. Unbelievable. And now let's check out the son and the daughter's place down below. Let's now wander into the home and of the daughter and the son. Oh wow, look at this incredible manoir. Everything left behind in this place. Beautiful designs, incredible stairway. Wow, you can see that they were pretty rich. Let's wander around here and see what we can find. This mirror. This room was actually pretty nice that we were wandering into. I was expecting like this place to be pretty trashed, but it's just in pristine condition actually. Wow. What do we have here? Picture of a lady. Oh my gosh. All the wine bottles left here. And there's like this little trolley left behind that mostly old people use. Older people, excuse me if you guys use it. Older people, you see them using. And with older, I'm referring to 40 or 50 or more. <laughs> I don't want to discriminate anybody in my videos. So, wow. And there's also a walking aid over here in this room. Oh my gosh. And then as I can see, this was one of the first bedrooms that we walked into. I have to crawl through the door. It's pretty difficult. Let me just try to do this. Yes. Oh. Huh? This looks like a house on itself. Oh, wow. Marina just told me outside 
This was probably a resting home. So this might have been true. So I was wrong about maybe the son and the daughter giving him this place. This might just have been his resting home. But maybe they bought a place for him in this resting home or something like that. Yeah, sometimes people distribute these stories and we don't know if they are 100% true. But I just tell them because, yeah, they might be true and they might be about 90% true. It's definitely true that this man lost his wife, but we are not 100% sure if the father, uh, if the son and the daughter lived here. You can see just, yeah, a normal resting home. And then we go a bit further into the house. Another room. Beautifully designed, typically French. Wow. Just amazing to see. Look at this furniture over here. I know you guys love this furniture. But you can see every single room in this place is just designed to be a resting home. And one, yeah, it's like a home for every person that lived here. They had their own kitchen. They had their own bathroom over there. Yes, yes, it's a resting home. And we have all the different little mailboxes for every resident in this place. And one of those there's also some different other mailboxes. I don't know what these are. There's a different type of mailbox. Yeah. Yeah, like I said before, a resting home. Let's head up this beautiful stairway and show you the upstairs floors. Okay. The first room that we enter into here upstairs is another little living place. I see a bed left behind. Chandelier. Wow. Magnificent. We're now on the top floor of the house. And I must say, I've never seen something like this before. All these different rooms left behind. This looks, yeah, yes, like it, it says it again with this bed with the, with the helping aid to get up this sort of hospital bed. This even smells like resting home. I know how a resting home smells, so and this smells like it. A few pictures of these ladies with the man over here. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's even a diaper left behind. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. That was actually a pretty fancy French, French little uh, resting home. You see all the design and the beautiful furniture and the people are just ah, quite fancy over here. They're like living the last years of their lives. And Oh my gosh, I just found a book of Adolf Hitler. So the man who lived in this place was pretty interested in war, a man or woman, I'm not sure. Excuse me. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's strange to see that they all had to cook their own food because they all had their own stove. We, all, my, we also call this, well, let me just check out this before we leave this room. We also call this aided living in Belgium. So this might be what, I, what it was. So this was a Christmas card they probably got from the family, fully handwritten. It's for Bernard. So Bernard lived in this room. He also had these praying beads over here on the table, his glasses. Wow. Then another room. There are so many rooms in this place. They all look so different from each other. All have their own story. See over here, we see the date again, 2015, left behind. April of 2015. One was February. Whoa. The whole roof is coming down. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible in French.
Oh my gosh. The coronavirus is now pretty active here in Europe. And this film is Le Film Corona. <laughs> so a little touch over there on the coronavirus. I hope I won't get it. His little darting board where he could enjoy himself. And then this super small kitchen over here. Pots and pans and all the things left behind here. For the last part of this home, or of this resting home actually, I wanna show you the upstairs here. It's probably an attic or maybe some more rooms. Let's see what we can find. It's a pretty special place actually. I didn't expect this at all. We were just we heard about this little house over there that we just filmed. But over here is so much more history left behind. This was more like a common cooking area, I think. All the food is left in here. Wow. Unbelievable. That places like this exist. Some graffiti. We didn't saw graffiti anywhere in the house. But over here in this room, for some sort of weird reason, somebody has sprayed graffiti. You would think that the residents maybe have done it or something like that. Wow. Just falling apart. I'm not gonna go into this room. It's pretty pretty unsafe actually. Then one last bathroom or toilet, excuse me. Over here in the hallway, that's the shower. <sighs> With this all being said, this was a pretty nice adventure actually. This was something that I didn't expect to find. And that, that doesn't happen a lot because normally we get like a location, get some pictures from somebody and we know a little bit of the history. But over here it's just like a big surprise. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little rambling about this place and going around it with me. And with that all being said guys, I want to thank you very very much for watching this week's video. Please like, subscribe and comment. And there's also a little link in the description there you can support us a little bit every month on Patreon and you get some nice nice benefits from it. So if you are a big fan from this channel, help us out a little bit. Much appreciated. Guys, I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Love you.